exclamation point of it. Let's see. Was I going to fight Fez? I think the plan was to go around Fez, wasn't it? Yeah. It was to go around here to attack St. John. Or should I take Fez? It wouldn't be bad. I mean, we could take Fez. Honestly, we could. I have two catapults. I have a siege tower up here. I just bring that down. Bring this samurai over. Bring that samurai over. And I have a crossbowman. Just launch it, like rain arrows and rocks on them. I could easily take it. I also have a siege tower down here. So, you know. I could easily do it. Oh, I want the builder. You continue healing. It wouldn't hurt taking this, though. Move there. Move there. You continue moving up. You go on down here. You go there. And... I won't be able to grab the worker. I told you to go here, not here, but okay. That's fine. It'll work. It's fine. Uh, a workshop will take some time to pay itself off, but it's kind of worth it in Winnipeg for right now. And we will go on to the next turn. I'll have him heal real quick. It's not going to be a lot of health. It's only going to be like 10. Games of St. George. Uh, you go on ahead and build them up here. Build. Just get that out of the way. And I think taking St. John shouldn't be that hard. Especially once I take down Fez. Now, I'm saying that I am making Can- or not Canada, I'm making Australia and Scythia really mad. And Scythia just landed a horseman on the continent. <laughs> oh, that's why they're bringing over a settler. Let me just move here real quick. I don't exactly know where I am. When that city. I forgot. Walls really hurt catapults. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Uh, it's the thrill of the fight, you know, all of that stuff. I forgot the rest of the lyrics to that song. Um, I'm dealing with a little bit of an amenity issue. I just now realized that. Meme of dog and fire. <laughs> oh, I should probably start pumping out more samurai. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I should probably pump more of those out. And the only reason why I'm thinking that is because Scythia is bringing a settler over and two they uh have two units over here that i really don't want to fight i'd rather not fight at least um so yeah also oh i don't have niter that's right oh yeah that's right i if i take fez i get access to this it wouldn't be bad taking Fez. So I'm going to take Fez. I don't want no if, ands, or buts. I'm taking Fez. Invade. Blood for the blood gods. Blood for the blood gods. We will... No. I'm sorry, Canada. I'm still taking out my anger out. <laughs> I'm taking my anger out on you. For what Brazil did in the last one. No, I'm taking my anger out. I remember what Brazil did.
Well, that catapult died. That's fine. I can easily replace it with another catapult. I will just continue the bombardment. Although it would have been nice to have that catapult because if I had it, I probably would have killed the walls on the city. But it is fine. I will move him out. I had catapult. Oh, there it is. I couldn't find it for a second. Sorry. That's why I turned my head. I couldn't find it. Where did that settler go? Okay, I'm not the only one who's all the settler over here, right? I'm curious. I could probably actually kill the city. I think I think I can kill the city. <laughs> or at least kill the walls. Or I might just kill the city and take it. Probably the second option. Yeah. Okay, so I took the city. I on link. Yep, I took the city. That was easy. That was a one turn, no, two turn siege. That was a two turn siege. It was worth it. And we will keep it. Up here, continue working on culture. Because we are kind of, well, we're kind of in the middle. Because the Australians have 67, I have 51. Scythians have 42. They also have over a thousand military power. I have no clue what they're doing over on their continent, but whatever it is, uh, I just hope they don't bring their military over with them. Because that's a lot of troops. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of troops. Build a monument. I'll go ahead and build that there. Skip turn. Skip turn. We got another samurai. And next turn. It's very interesting playing as Japan. I've always kind of wanted to play as Japan in the Civ game. I just, I only ever did Civilization Revolution. That was the only one that I did. And that's because it was fun. You know, you like you could settle the basically with Civilization Revolution in Japan in that game. Uh, what all happened in that one was you gained <clears throat> extra food, and so like if you settled the city on the coast, you got extra food from the water. Oh, also I forgot. So I had a mod a mod installed called uh, an enhanced card policy policy card something like that. And it basically, the way it enhances is that it tells you how much you're gaining from everything. So like I'm getting 14 gold because I have 14 envoys in different city states. So. It, it's a nice little uh, mod to have. Especially when trying to know exactly how much you're going to be getting. It's worth it. i create with Siege Tower and just heal. Uh, you definitely need to heal. And I will start funneling you all the way over there. I don't think I like the way... I don't think I really like the way that this uh, Corsair is just sitting there. I don't think I... I don't really like that. <laughs> I just feel like they're up to no good. I really hope they're not. I don't want to fight the Scythians. Especially considering I don't exactly have a navy. So I kind of can't defend the coastline unless they land and then I have to attack them with my melee units. Although I could build up crossbowmen in this city in uh, Nago Nagoya. I believe is how you say that. I could build up some crossbowmen there, and possibly in Tokyo. It wouldn't hurt to do that. 
I'll build a farm there just for now. It's three extra food. Tile isn't really being used yet. I think we'll grow into that tile soon. Also, I like how the samurai, they have a special sound whenever you click on them. It's kind of like they're unsheathing their uh, sword and pulling it out. That's what it sounds like. It's a really cool thing. St. John will be mine. Also, if the Scythians decide to try and land on this continent to settle the city, as they denounce me, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to take the settler from you. Scythia. No, Canada. I refuse. You must die. Aww. Okay, so we need to get spies up and running. I think I'll build a spy in uh, Kyoto real quick. Just so I can combat. Uh, basically, what just happened is an enemy spy killed my governor in the city. So I'm losing some science and culture right now. I don't know which spy it was. I didn't catch him. But uh, it was a spy nonetheless. Ah, there's a knight up here. Well, nope, I can't shoot at it. So let's move you here. Uh, you fortify and heal. You keep going down here. Uh, yeah, I want the siege towers on this side. Always Cynthia. Eh, it might have been the Scythians. Uh, I don't... I think I'm gonna keep this dude. No, I'll just go ahead and use him. Let's see, great scientist. Gain 500 science uh, for each natural wonder tile. I don't think I have any natural wonders. Wonders. Bro, just <laughs> luck. I, I, my, my brain no work. Wow. Winnipeg is just hitting all of the issues. <laughs> uh... I'm not giving you any coal. No, I'm not gonna help. I'm not gonna help you. You hate my guts, A, and B. If you try to settle your city over here, I'm killing you, or I'm killing that city at least, and taking it for my own. Odds are they're probably trying to settle right here. I have a feeling that's what they were trying to do. Okay, I got a spy now. Uh, you counter spy in Kyoto. Uh, yeah, counter spy in the main city because I have all of my districts around it. That wouldn't really benefit me. I could just wait until I get an Aerodome. In fact, I think that's what I'll do. I'll wait until I get Aerodomes. They can't help it if they have a crush on you. No. <laughs> Ooh, plus four culture. I'm gonna do that tile. Okay, science. I might want to actually start trying to get some science. Oop. Uh. Oh, also, if you're wondering why I put the spy here in the main city, since the way that the spy works is that uh, any tile it occupies, it also protects the adjacent uh, tiles. So that's why I put them here, because it protects my industrial zone, my campus, and my um, uh, theater district. Or not theater. My government plaza. I bet. So. That's why I put them there. And he'll catch any spy that tries to do anything. Which is always beneficial. Okay, you go up here... If I put the catapult here, it should be able to fire over that. I need to flip you out. Huh. Yeah, invading from down there is kind of hard. Always, always what? Okay, so next turn, I'll move this siege tower to this tile, and then move this one to here. 
So I'll heal the I'll heal the uh, samurai for right now. Sadly, this catapult has to wait. I really wish I wasn't having to use this card. And if I wasn't having to use this one card, I could throw in rationalism to get extra science. Or even scripture to get extra faith. Sadly, I'm, I can't. Well, you know, they seem to be perfect excuses, okay? Uh, for right now, I'm just going to slowly move all of my people in. For now, I'm going to do this until I can actually... Shoot at it? Let's see, is that a hill? That's not a hill. So, you'll have to go there. Okay, I might as well go on ahead and start moving these guys in. Um... Let's do reform the coinage. I have three. That's three error score every time I complete it, so yeah. No excuse is the perfect excuse. Well, it is in my book. <laughs> perfect excuse will always exist in my book. If somebody knows what it is. Uh, I can actually promote this guy now. I'm shocked. Okay, so I guess this, I really did kind of block off the Scythians a little bit. Because <laughs> they haven't tried moving that uh, settler yet. So I believe I got the uh, tile they're trying to land on. I think they're trying to settle their city right there. <laughs> I'm 90% sure. Come on, why target the catapult? I literally put melee units there just so you would target them. It didn't target the melee units. So I got to beat down the walls the old way. Set your course Dang it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much of an issue, but it kind of is at the same time. It's just really annoying to do. Yes, you can beat down the walls with your fist. It's no big deal. I move you here. You're probably gonna get shot at. I apologize, catapult. Uh, but don't worry. There are more catapults to come, okay? Don't worry. We have another catapult. If you had Machamp this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong on that one. Um, Doing that, although I still don't have Niter. Okay, so I think what I'll do is buy that tile and buy a builder here as well. Yeah, buy a builder and then buy that tile. So that way I can get Niter and actually start upgrading stuff. And there's not many mines in this city. So, Rur Valley, is, as good as a uh, wonder it is, will not benefit this city. Also, I'm building tons of samurai. I am just going to keep building them. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's a minor victory. I could... I'll wait. I'm gonna wait to start pounding the crap out of their walls. I'm just gonna wait. Because as soon as I'm able to, I'm going to hit... Hopefully this catapult survives. I'm banking on the fact that this catapult might survive. And if it does, I'll be able to hit the walls once. I just need to hit them once to let me do more damage. That's all I got to do. Also, I'm kind of trapping... I'm kind of trapping the, uh, <laughs> Corsair. <laughs> so, don't mind me.
Um, go build on the wheel. And you keep blocking the Scythian uh, uh, settler. Because for some reason, it's just not wanting to change. It wants to settle on this tile so bad that it's not willing to move anywhere else. No, it just wants to settle here. I guess it is the only tile it can settle on, maybe. Hang on. Is it? No, it can settle here. But I guess it can land to settle. <laughs> well, it can. It can land over here or here or here. Or here. And move. But it doesn't want to. So. I guess I'm breaking the... Uh, I guess I'm breaking the AI right now. My bad. Also, not my bad at the same time. Kind of did it on purpose. And by accident. Oh my word, thank you. The catapult survived. No, I'm not apologizing to the AI. Nope. I'm done with the AI in this game. <laughs> I am done with Civ 6 AI. I've gotten I've, I've been annoyed enough by Civ 6 AI. So I am good. I am not apologizing to it. Okay. Yeah. See, this is one good thing about samurai. They have a ton of attack strength. <laughs> Especially whenever they take damage, they gain more uh, uh, more uh, attack, which is great. I love it. About some more health, by the way. And it wasn't more health. This catapult's kind of useless. Because I really can just beat the crap out of their walls. So I guess uh, that'll be part of the invasion force for the other continent. Okay, what I'm thinking is I should probably buy this. When can I build? 13, so in 15 turns. Okay, build a builder. You go stand over there. Okay. This is easy. Uh, you build a military academy. I have successfully blocked in. Not only did I break the AI to where they couldn't land the settler or horse archer. No, I also boxed in the Corsair. It's fine. I'm just casually breaking the Scythian AI. It's fine. No one likes them anyways. Oh no, my catapult's dead. My catapult died. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, whatever will I do? <laughs> May that catapult rest in peace, though. Uh, you have a level. All right, okay, you're really close to leveling. So attack. And this should be Canada dead. This should be Canada dead, and... Voila! We killed Canada. We toppled an entire empire because of the last game that happened. And I will keep the city. Um, I think I'm going to put that... Uh, I think I'm going to go down that line. Nice. <laughs> It's honestly not hard to kill Canada, especially whenever they're the ones who declare war on you. It's very fun. And I just want to point out, I went from having no military to having the second strongest military of all the people I know. So that's the thing. I don't know how, but I did. And it's perfectly fine. It's all perfectly fine. That yields me 26 food. Is 
That's three gold. Okay, if I put this here, I have to build a canal right here. I have to put a canal in. Or... Oh, I won't do that. Plus three science. No, a harbor. I'll just build a canal going through here. I never built the dam over here. I completely forgot to build this. I don't have the gold. So that'll have to wait. I forgot to build the dam. <laughs> I'm also struggling with amenities. So I have to deal with my amenity issue. I have to also um, fix housing down here in Winnipeg. I also need to build the dam here. Okay. Everything's set in stone now. Uh, Samurai, I kind of want you to go over here. <laughs> You're going to be the explorer. This samurai is going to be the one who goes to the new continent and sees what uh, I'm going to see what it's like. Let's see what the other continent's like. Especially considering that um, the Scythian Empire has 1200 military strength. I don't know why they do, but they do. So that's a thing. <laughs> it's a ton of military strength. I don't know why either. I feel like they just built up a gigantic military just because. And they're probably going to try and use it on me. I just have a sneaky suspicion that they're probably going to use it on me. Especially considering they have these two units over here. Honestly, yeah, it could be to defeat me. For now, you go to sleep, you go on alert. Now it's time to start the Great Migration back. Fun. Okay, what does the great engineer do? Culture bomb when completing... Oh, okay. I'll take a culture bomb. Why not? Also, do any of these wonders give me amenities? None of these give me amenities. So I'm going to have to try and find an AI on the other continent. That hopefully... Hopefully, doesn't hate me, and so I can at least get one amenity. I need one luxury item I do not have. That's all I need to make everyone happy. Also, does it count having... Over here, you gotta get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know why the AI put a farm on top of the coal tile. It was probably not cold before they put the farm on top, but still. Um. Eh, dam right here wouldn't be bad. I'll put it down here though instead. Also, I forgot to save the money for that one. Well. Got to keep the people happy? Yes, I know. I'm trying. Let's see, do I have any dyes in my empire? Now that I think about it. Because if not, I... I don't think I can buy that tile, actually, now that I think about it. Nope. It is literally one tile out of range. So is the ivory. 
Oh, I have dies in my empire anyways. Doesn't matter. I'm curious. Mr. Australia. Do you by any chance want amber? Hey! Thank you. That's all I need. I have cotton. <laughs> I needed that. The only way to make my people happy. Apparently need cotton. I hope that it fixes my amenity issue. It did not fix my amenity issue. Scythian. Hi. Mercury for Amber. That. That should fix it. <laughs> I hope. If not, I don't know what to do for my amenities. Let's also go for flight. Yeah, let's get flight so we can get aerodomes. I think that'll be fun. Go there. You go there. You go there. And you go here. Here. And I'm going to have you build the arena. So you actually give this area amenities. I also don't... I don't think I have... I have one entertainment complex. But I don't think I have one for this city. Also, I should probably start settling some cities inward. <laughs> I should probably start filling this whole area out. It's another tube production. Remove that. Imagine eating, like, um... Coal wheat. Because it was a farm on top of coal. <laughs> And all I can think about is cold wheat. Come on. Trade with me. It doesn't really benefit me, but trade with me. Yeehaw. Producing and purchasing military units using... Is 100%? No, let's do 50% of production. I might have just signed someone's death warrant by choosing that one, but it's fine. As long as it's not my own, I don't care. I don't think many people would care as long as it's not them. One turn. One turn. And I am building. <laughs> I'll build a field cannon in that one turn. Let's see. Go improve the horses. And you build the mine. So that's a very productive tile now. I'm gonna lock it. That's a ton of food. No wonder the city... How does the city not have 10 population? Because this... The tile that had the coal on it was a 5 food source. And those are all 4s. And that one's a 3. This one farm is a 3. That's a ton of food. How do you not have... How do you not have 10 population? That's weird. I don't know why, but that's weird. To me, at least. I have a feeling that whenever I land, there's probably not going to be anyone else there. <laughs> but there's a bunch of civs I haven't met yet. Based on, you know, this. There's four civs that I haven't met yet. So. That's a thing. Uh... Trying to get Grand Army or actually try to get something else. I think what I'll do is... Since I'm the only one on my continent, other than the city-states, I need to try and get money. So I think doing this will help, because it's plus 11. 
and I plan on putting more down. So, that's fine. One, two, and three. All right, now let's see. Yeah, let's go for natural history. Start possibly getting some culture built up. That's plus two. Okay, now we have access to the ocean. Now we can start building uh, fleets. We can start building, like, actual fleets of battleships and uh, carriers, things like that. Build a water mill. You people keep going to the west. We must do manifest destiny. We must go to the west. Oh, okay. So I'm about to get one of the most overpowered governor abilities. So the the uh, ley lines, um, these glowing ley lines, right here. Uh, with this governor ability. It gives it plus one of a bunch of different things. So like science and uh, it, it gives you like plus one science, food and all that if I remember correctly. Or it might just be science. I believe it's just plus one science. And so now that went from being a zero science tile to a six. <laughs> uh, sad part is I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, I have one right here. So there's one here. Okay, I have three in my empire. Only one of them seems to be workable. No, two of them are workable. This one isn't. It's just one tile out of my range. I would have to settle a city, and I don't think I can. I can settle on top of it, but I won't do that, so. But now we have that. So if we can find more, we can settle and actually benefit straight off the bat getting like plus six science. I forgot there's a wonder over here. Kind of would be worth going over here, especially with this farmland, because it uh it increases the food yield from all of these tiles that get end up getting flooded. So Go over here, I'm gonna buy that tile. Oop. Oh, I'm still dealing with amenities out here. That's not fun. Should be fixed here soon. With this arena being built. As far as these two cities, that's gonna be harder. But as long as they don't try to rebel, we're fine. Oxford, no. It's not to Oxford University. Build another spy. You just go on alert. Next turn. Um. Huh. Ox peed on Tori's being back. <laughs> well. It was bound to happen at some point. Uh, no one's building Oxford University. I could have built it in Tokyo. But I'm not going to. I kind of feel bad. This wasn't really much of a stream today. If I had more sleep, it would be different. But I am kind of tired. Excuse me. I did say Oxford University. There's a wonder. Called Oxford University. Right here. I could build Oxford University in Tokyo, but I'm not going to. 